Yeah. All right. Right here? Yeah. All right. No, well, that's the idea of those. Yeah. That green Well, anyway, I brought you over here because these are uh, relatively new paintings. And this, these long, narrow ones, uh, there's two in the room. I did a bunch of them about five years ago. I've been meaning to get back to them, and I finally did. So I'm starting to make some of the long, narrow ones again. And this is one of these ones where I'm kind of using the silver paint, quite a bit of silver. This one also. So I'm kind of on, on these. I mean, there's, it's an ongoing thing, you know. Just working out of one one thing kind of leads to another. But on this particular group, these silver ones, I initially thought I was going to make white paintings. And what happened was I thought a little silver with the white could be quite elegant. And I thought it could be interesting to see where it goes. I couldn't make the white work. I just, you know, next thing I know, I'm doing the silver big time, and I'm really liking the way it looks, and that's kind of how I got to it. You know, the whole thing about you know how I apply the paint, like this one, I you know I smeared this with my hand. These I poured out of a, of a cup, you know, say with the bottom here. There's a whole thing in here that, you know, basically I covered it up, and I left what I wanted to, you know, still be left there, but in a little bit of uh, getting rid of stuff, it's still not big enough. I mean, all that area over there right now, I've got mostly the uh, tools and sculpture. So it's kind of, you know, it's like you've gotten in, plus this big piece, I gotta sell this thing. It's, it's like, see, I painted over there. I think that was too black for my jar. I painted in there, and I wanted to be able to put out more, more canvases and work on two or three at the same time. But, uh, this is looking very organized, but generally everything's all over the place. I cleaned everything up, <laughs> you know, repainted the floor white, you know, like, well, the paint's always over there, but usually it's just a big mess, stuff everywhere. And it's, I wish I knew. I don't know. I mean, the marketing artists, I mean, I've been doing it a long time, and it's hard to say, you know, I can't tell you any one, one thing, but... It's hard to read, the, there's, a new, there's a new environment out there. I, I have to admit, I, I'm having a hard time reading what's going on. In the past, I felt like, you know, there was a certain kind of, you know, four or five steps of things that happened. You know, you, you get a gallery, you have a show, a few critics maybe would review it, like it, that would attract some attention, maybe a few sales, do it again, you know? Maybe you know work gets better, changes, whatever, and there's there's a certain amount of um, attention coming out of various medias. Now it's like everything's a media. You know, it's almost like there's so much of it that none of it counts anymore. And my feeling is at this point, it's really the collectors that are uh, kind of leading the charge. You might say in terms of what gets bought, what gets talked about. You know, and you can have a great review now, and you don't sell anything. Well, I met a lot of the first generation abstract expressionists when I first came to New York. And I also met, I mean, the one that comes to mind right away was uh, Barnett Newman. I met Barnett Newman at a party. He used to stay there by himself. And I thought, yeah, that looks like Barnett Newman. And sure enough, it's only when I talked to him, and you know, it was, it was, it was, it was nice. I, I invited him to the studio. Uh, but I never followed up on it. I was a little too shy, you know. And I, I didn't, I didn't know. Uh, I think he would have liked what I was doing at the time. Though. I'm not sure he'd like what I'm doing now. But what I was doing then was very minimal sculpture, and I think he, he could have gotten into that. And then I met all the color field painters, first generation. Well, I didn't mean say Morris Lewis, but Ken Nolan, Olitsky, you know, uh, who else, you know. All those guys, and then you know the whole downtown scene in those days was great. I mean, the alleys started moving from 57th Street to Soho, even before it was called Soho. I was showing the Park Place Gallery. Paula Cooper was running the Park Place Gallery. 
and uh, I mean everybody went through there at one point. I mean, pretty much every artist you can think. Of. You don't always get inspired, but um, well, that's you know, what I was kind of saying. You know, one thing leads to another. I mean, sometimes it's just a color. You know, like that painting behind you. That painting was based on the fact that this paint company I started using had this incredible ultramarine blue. And I'd used it a few times, and then one day I said, I'm gonna really, you know, work this blue and do uh, a really ultramarine blue painting with other colors. And, you know, that's true of, uh, you know, everything. And then it's just, you know, you're always searching. That's the thing, searching. I don't know what I'm gonna do half the time. Or, I mean, I think I know what I'm gonna do, and then it changes on me, but it's searching, keep trying, changing it, searching, and then when I see it, I know I've got it. You know, so that's, that's the trick.